guys, it's Adria, and for today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing video, and this is super exciting. I went a little crazy. It was a little last minute, a little just like, you know, I think I want a new phone. I had the iPhone 4S, okay? <laughs> just like, let's all cry together. I've had the iPhone 4 since 2011. I think I got it when it like just came out, so I had it when it was like the latest and greatest thing. When I went to go trade it in, the best they could give me for it was 10 bucks. I was like, girl. The lady at the AT&T store was like, girl, just keep it. I'm like, okay. So yeah, I did switch to AT&T. I had Sprint, but I mean, I just, I don't know, because Brandon has AT&T. I was just like, eh, whatever. And here it is. I actually wanted to cry, okay, because, wait, where is my old phone? Here is my iPhone 4S. I had no space on this thing. It had eight gigabytes, and what I was paying for this is more than what I will be paying for this phone. So I'm just like, like, I literally want to just destroy this. I hate this phone. I'm like, I'm done with you. I'm just done with this. Let's unbox the iPhone SE together. I thought that this would be a good choice for me because number one, I have smaller hands. Number two, it's the same size as the iPhone 5. So it'll be easier to hold because when I hold Brandon's iPhone 6, it just, I don't know, I feel like I can't do it. And I don't know, I'm a one-handed phone type person. So I need to be able to hold it in one hand. So the iPhone SE just made sense for me. Here it is in the box. Oh, oh, such a professional unboxing video isn't it? All right, so here's how it comes in the box. Rose gold color, and it's the 16 gigabyte, which is double what my 4S was. Do you believe that? Like, girl, that is not enough for anything. When I tell you, I delete so many apps. I had like 30 photos on my phone. So, I mean, I had no space for anything. So here it is. We are going to de-screen it. So if you like this kind of thing, here we go. Is there one on the back too? Oh yeah, there is. Here we go. I'll just let you guys get a good up close look at it. Also, I apologize if you can hear the television. And yeah, I'm not gonna set it up right now because I'm gonna have to sync it to my laptop and everything, but I just thought I'd show you guys everything included with it. Obviously, there's just this little thing. Oh, it has the newer Apple headphones and then the little charge cord comes in there. Oh my gosh, I finally, finally have this kind of a cord with the little smaller because I am the only person ever in the entire world that has the old style cord. Whenever people are like, do you have a phone charger? I'm just like, this big thing, like, no. Nobody ever needs that. That looks oddly satisfying. My gosh, it looks like an atom, look at it. Ugh. Well, it did, it fell apart, oh my gosh. And then the little cube, and I just wanted to show off this box a bit more because I love this box. This is like, more three-dimensional is textured. Okay, I had to create a passcode. And it's crazy. I was paying over a hundred dollars a month for a 4S. Can I mean the lady at the AT&T store like wanted to cry for me. That was that was pretty sad. It's so much similar to the 4. I'll compare it to the 4. So if you have a 4 or a 4S, you can compare this. I doubt anybody does these days, except for me. But yeah, look. In size comparison. So it just kind of feels like my 4S, but just stretched out a bit, which the size does not bother me because I had a friend who had the 6 Plus and it's just like, that's huge. I will destroy that thing. I needed something that I will, you know, look, I can hold that perfectly. Even Brandon said when he got his 6, he went from the 4S to a 6 and he was like, I wish that the 6 was like the same size as the 4S because it's not the size of the 4S that I didn't like. It was just how slow it was, the limited space on it, the camera quality on it was terrible. Just all around, just, you know, outdated and whatnot. So he said, you know, if I could have all the features of the 6 with the size of the 4, that would be awesome. I feel like Apple's like getting out of control with making the phone super huge. It's like, let's just make every phone bigger until they're this big. I wish I could read that. So it's all the same features as the 6, but with the size of the iPhone 5, which is awesome because now I can get iPhone 5 cases. I have always wanted a pink iPhone, just, you know, girl. We got to. You guys wanted me to do a what's on my iPhone video. Maybe once I get this all set up, I could definitely do that. 
Okay guys, so it is the next day and I finally got my iPhone SE all set up. It took me a bit just because I haven't had a new phone in quite a while. It took me a little while to figure this thing out. I would have set it up on camera, but it literally took me and Brandon like two hours to do this. It was just a hassle because I forgot a lot of my passwords, you know, iCloud and all that kind of nonsense. So it was a... It was a process, but so far I can give a general review of this. I am loving this phone. First of all, the battery percentage, I must point out, is lasting me forever. I did not charge this phone at all last night. Um, it was in the 70s when I went to bed and was in the 60s when I woke up, and I just could not believe that. Also, I love the touchpad feature. So I do have a lock code, but you can also unlock it with your fingerprint. Pretty cool, right? Here are all the apps I have. I finally got all of the apps that I had on my old phone onto this one. So for you guys that wanted to see what's on my iPhone, here it is. Up on the first row, we have camera, photos, calendar, and weather. Then on the second row, we have Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, and all those social medias will be linked down below if you would like to follow me. Then we have Messenger for Facebook, Safari. Then in here, we have photo editors. These are the two editors I use for Instagram, line camera, and layout. Then this next folder right here, we have dictionary, wallet, iBooks, and the Bible. And that's just my little books folder. Then down here we have health. So this is just the little health app that comes with the iPhone. Then we have monthly cycles for periods and then Nike running. Then in this folder we have the game center. We have my online banking, videos, GoPro, receipt hog, followers, and music. I don't have any music on this yet though, but I do have the 16 gigabyte one and I think I've only used up about 11 gigabytes of space. So. Uh, then in here we have iTunes, App Store, Reminders, Notes, Clock, Calculator, Contacts, Maps, and Bitmoji. And then over here, just a bunch of apps that I don't particularly use. Then here we just have the AT&T mobile app, Mail, Yahtzee, FaceTime, and Daily Bible Inspirations. Then at the very bottom, I have phone, settings, and iMessage. So these are all the apps I have on my new iPhone SE. I have everything on one page. I only have one page of apps. I'm a folder queen. As you can see, I love keeping everything in the folders. I feel like it's like the best thing ever. So um, what I am loving so far about the phone, I already said the battery, the touch thing, also the speed of this phone is incredible. How quickly I can navigate through my apps is just absolutely insane. I mean, I did not realize how slow my 4S was until I got this phone. Like, this phone is actually, like, giving me whiplash. It's so freaking fast. I just, I am in disbelief. Hey guys, I'm filming right now, and I'm filming what's on my iPhone, and this is a super weird angle. <laughs> yeah, add me on Snapchat, guys. I snap a lot. Yeah, oh, and something else I've been loving is I finally have Twitter again. I had to delete a bunch of apps that I didn't use daily on my 4S, and Twitter, sadly, was one of them. I'm now, once again, on Twitter more frequently, so yeah, you guys should go follow me on Twitter. My username is Killa Panda Bear, so go follow me. I feel like this is such a good transition phone for me because... Um, the off button, the power button, is right here on top, just like the 4S, because when I use Brandon's phone and the power is on the side, it just, I don't know, it, it throws me off a bit. I don't really, I don't know, I don't like that as much, but the headphone jack is now at the bottom. I am just in love with it, and here is a better look at the back if you really wanted to see that, but um, yeah, that's basically it. I was going to do an iPhone case video, but they're all 4S cases, so I don't know if you guys still would want to see that. Let me know down below. I have a bunch of cute cases, so I don't even know what I'm going to do with those or my old iPhone. So yeah, this was just a short little video. I thought you guys may want to see this. You know, I like watching unboxing videos and no, this is not sponsored. I wish Apple would sponsor me. That, that would be a great sponsorship, wouldn't it? If Apple contacted you like, hey, want a free phone? I'd be like, 
Yeah, girl, don't you? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below what kind of phone you have because I'm genuinely curious about what kind of phones you guys use. I feel like I'm the only one ever that had the 4S until today. Today, April. And yeah, I want to see if there are any other SE users or 4S users out there. You know, we can twin. Yeah, I will see you guys again real soon. Until then, Panda Hugs, I love you guys. No, I have to set it up to do anything.